They've brought in X-ray machines and other high-tech equipment to help unravel the mysteries of the Howard family, whose remains are housed in a Suffolk church. Neil Bowdler reports. Bells ring out over the Suffolk town of Framlingham, where little has changed for centuries. But today, something strange is afoot. This may look like a traditional parish church, but I'm told that inside are late Tudor tombs of European significance. They're now using space-age technology to try and unlock some of their secrets. Inside, men in white shirts are firing lasers at the lavish tombs of the Howard family. The tombs appear to have undergone a 16th century makeover after being moved from a nearby priory. A planar top appears to have been added to one, while other pieces seem to have been left behind. Ideally, they'd take them apart to solve the puzzle, but 3D modelling offers the next best thing. We're scanning these tombs three-dimensionally, um, both of them appear to be multi-phase monuments. They have a, a first and a second phase separated by perhaps as little as 15 years. And what we're going to do is to virtually disassemble them and reconstruct them in what we think were their original appearances. The results from the laser imaging come in quickly. In the coming months, it's these images which will be broken apart and reconstructed. One of the theories that they have is the top section uh, shouldn't actually be there, so what we can do is take the whole top eight inches off and drop the, the people that are on the top lower and create a digital model so they can see what it should be like. The researchers are not just using lasers. Spectrometers, more usually trained on distant star clusters, will be used to pick out different types of stone and faint traces of paint. All will be done without a stone being moved, while the Howards will quickly be left to resume their peaceful slumber. Neil Bowdler, BBC News, Framlingham. No, from where there is. Carol, don't like the look of your crystal ball today. Oh.